high definition. From the station on your side, this is Wavy News Online. Thanks for logging on to Wavy.com. I'm Ariane Aaron Bureau. We'll have Jeremy's forecast in just a moment. But first, a police pursuit in Portsmouth ends with an arrest, and that's our top story this afternoon. This is a look at where the chase ended on Martin Luther King Freeway and Queen Street. Portsmouth police say the vehicle involved in the pursuit belongs to an 81-year-old woman who was the victim of a carjacking in a Walmart parking lot yesterday morning. No word yet on whether the person police taken into custody is the man wanted in connection with yesterday's carjacking. Chesapeake police arrested a man wanted in connection with sexually assaulting a child after a five-month investigation. 52-year-old Stephen Thomas Nestoriak was taken into custody and now faces more than a dozen and charges. Police say the victim is a minor but didn't specify any relationship between the suspect and victim. The Storyak is being held without bond at the Chesapeake City Jail. Suffolk police say dozens of cars have been broken into in the last day and a half and the suspects are still on the loose. Police tell Ted on your side that 27 vehicles have been broken into or tampered with and most of the incidents happen in the Steeplechase or Harbor Breeze neighborhoods. Investigators say the thieves are looking for small electronics like iPods, cell phones and GPS units. If you know anything about the string of car break-ins call the crime line. Meantime, police remind drivers not to leave anything of value inside your vehicles. Fire officials in Dare County, North Carolina, say that the wildfire that's been burning since May 5th on Paynes Bay is 100% contained. They're emphasizing that this doesn't mean the fire is out. Crews will remain on the scene putting out any hot spots and making sure there aren't any flare-ups. The fire has burned nearly 50,000 acres. Virginia's Department of Social Services is offering cooling assistance to those who qualify. If approved, the state will help people pay for their electric bills or any cooling equipment such as AC units, pumps and fans. To qualify, a household unit must have a child under 6 years of age or an adult living there 60 years old or older. Also, the maximum gross monthly income before taxes for one person is $1,180 and for a household of four, $2,422. To find out how to apply, log on to wavy.com and click on this story. Now, in high definition, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, today's forecast going to see some scattered shower storms developing this afternoon. Temperatures in the lower 90s. It's going to be hot. It's going to be very humid today. Southwest winds 5 to 10. As we go into the evening and overnight, we'll develop even more storms. Temperatures being lower 70s. Could see some very heavy rain in a few places, which I guess at this point would be a good thing for some folks. Tomorrow will be cooler after some morning showers. Uh, temperatures will be in the mid 80s in the afternoon. And Thursday, really pleasant. Dry and highs in the lower 80s. All right, thanks for checking in with Wavy News Online. Our next newscast will begin tonight at 5. Make sure you tune in then. Now, in high definition, from the station on your side, this is Wavy News Online.